Hello. <clears throat> Let's see. It's five o'clock Wednesday, July the 11th. And you know what? This is a little tricky for me. So I'm going to take these out and just talk directly to the camera. So I am here outside um, on my farm in Hood River, Oregon. This is a farm that my family and I have come to for the second time in a year, or second time in a row, the second summer in a row. And actually we've decided to live here year round just for one year and try it out and see if we can get a big snowy winter and take our cross country skis and our snowshoes and go out into our 40 acre property and just have a winter wonderland of fun. So send us good vibes that we get snow and not a lot of rain. So how are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday? Wow, I have so much to share with you and today's topic is really near and dear to my heart and it's something that I am teaching my clients today, tomorrow, and the rest of the week. So. Right now here on the farm, I have two of my very special VIP clients who have come to spend three days with me in a workshop retreat. We're going to be working on some things for their new business, but also just their life in general. And so what we're going to be talking about today is Vivid Vision. I don't know if you've ever heard of this book, but the author is Cameron Harold. It's a very small book, and if you want to create something if you if you have a a dream or a vision or a goal that you really feel like you need to to put into words um, to get out on paper to get out of your head and to get it moving so that it can actually come to life this is a great book for you so it's vivid vision by Cameron Harold so for those of you who don't know, and if you're watching the replay, please type replay. My name is Jessica Perez BB. I have been a coach for over a decade now. And what I do is I coach people on how to create any big change or transformation that you want in your life, regardless of where you are now or of where you have come from. I've helped hundreds of people do this, whether it's in health and fitness, whether it's around their career, their financial goals, their relationships. I truly teach people how to think differently how to think bigger and how to really believe in themselves I apply the laws of manifestation the laws of attraction and I marry that with practical proven steps on how to achieve your goals kind of like practical woo-woo and so what I want to share with you today is one of my favorite tools that I use and like I said that I'm leading with in this workshop retreat that I have the honor and privilege of having my two clients here with me and I'm outside and I'm kind of whispering because right now each of them, one of them is getting a massage, one of them is getting a one-on-one uh, -on -one yoga session and they're going to be switching. I surprised them with this yoga session and this massage so I'm super, super excited that they are doing that right now and I just love loving up on my clients and seeing them. You know, just seeing them really be able to do some self-care as they're on this journey to create a different future uh, for themselves. So, what is a vivid vision? A vivid vision is the creative part of a big goal. And so, the way that Cameron teaches it is that you create your vis vivid vision three years out from today. I teach something with my clients called a 531 um, plan. So it's five years, a five year goal. We work backwards to the three year to support the five year and then the one year to support the three and the five. So I work with people to create a breakthrough in one year. I do that one on one and I do that in my group program called Your Breakthrough Year. So what I that's that's what I really loved about Cameron's is it really is in line with what I'm already teaching but what I love about what he does is he really gets you in that 3 year vision and he really gets you moving towards it for your business. So for those of you you could do this for your life as well and and I teach people how to use vi visualization for this but this book specifically is if you have a career goal or a business goal. Okay, and here's the beautiful thing about the vivid vision that I love so much. 
This is where you get to be a dreamer. You get to be creative. This is not, when you're creating the vivid vision, this is not where you get into your right brain or your left brain, I'm sorry, where you get into your left brain and overanalyze and come up with all the reasons why that's going to be difficult or, you know, figuring out how to do it. He specifically says, you don't worry about the how. If you want to create a big vision for yourself, a goal for a company, for a movement, for a cause, maybe a nonprofit, for anything that really makes a big difference in your life or the lives of others, you've got to stay in the creative process. You've got to be the visionary. And then once you've got that big vision mapped out, then you can get the um, you, you, the people in place, the, the um, architects, so to speak, to make it all work. But if you're trying to figure out the how, that's going to interrupt the creative process. A lot of people don't take action on things in life because they don't know how and they let them stop them. Don't let not knowing how you're going to do something, how you're going to get the money, how you're going to make this or that work, you know. Don't let those things stop you from pursuing something that's dear to your heart, something that's important to you. Don't let it stop you from pursuing your dreams and goals. Because one thing that I know for sure that I have experienced personally and that I have seen my clients experience is once you make a decision and you take action without knowing how everything's going to work out, without having all the answers and all the pieces in place, it all lines up for you because taking action is what frees you. Taking action is what tells the universe that you're serious. It tells the universe and God that you trust. You trust yourself. You trust what's to come. You trust all the beings um, that you believe in and you take action and everything else starts to line up for you. You create momentum. I just wrote a, wrote a blog post on this. Momentum doesn't start until you actually do something. So the ball doesn't gain momentum until you start pushing it, right? Until you start moving it. You've got to take action. You've got to do something. So I teach manifestation and law of attraction. But the piece that I really underscore and, and tie in with that is the manifesting doesn't happen until you actually start to take purposeful action in terms of the choices that you make, the surroundings um, that you put yourself in, the energy that you choose, and the decisions, the decisions, the decisions, because indecision is pretty much keeping yourself in prison. So vivid vision, you start by really just writing everything that you want. So for example, right now I have a vision that I'm working on that includes me creating some type of academy, right? I don't know if it's online. I don't know if it's um, a local place. I don't know if it's for adults or if it's for teenagers. I don't know any of that yet. I'm in the creative process of just what this means, but I don't get hung up on that. So what you do is you start with all of the ways that you want that to look right so as I as I start my my creative process of writing this all out it might just start like I just said I know that I want a an academy um, a, a type of training where people can learn how to apply what I'm talking about the laws of manifestation the laws of attraction how they can combine that with practical steps to really achieve their goals how to be a, a goal getter um, who doesn't get in her own way right so I want to be able to teach those tools to people and have a certification program where where I can teach people how to teach it to others and really get this spiritual cohesive message and tool out into the world like I've learned it from my mentors but I, I don't yet know how that's going to happen and I don't let that stop me from creating the vision do you see what I'm saying so some people might start to write that vision and then get stuck saying yeah but how am I going to do that and how much money is it going to take oh my god I'll never be able to do this that and the other I don't even know like oh wait a minute let me start researching how do you do certifications and all that forget it it's too tough right do you see how like if you start to worry about the how, the logistics, the mechanics of it, you interrupt the vision and so then nothing ever happens. 
you have to stay in the vision. And I'm going to read um, what um, Hal talks about here. He says, a couple examples. 30 years ago, Microsoft had a big, hairy, audacious goal. Have you guys heard of that? The, the BHAG. Um, they had a big goal to place a computer on every desktop. Bear in mind, at this point, they didn't even make computers. That's a pretty big, hairy, audacious goal, right? What they realized was that the better the software they created, the more they could actually make that dream come true. But when he had that goal, it, it seemed impossible. People were like, what? It's like another example he uses in 61 when Kennedy announced by the end of the decade that the United States would put a man on the moon. That seemed like, that seems like, like small potatoes now, but his announcement was extraordinary, almost unimaginable, especially given that computers of the time were so primitive, right? Um, and so what he points out here is that sometimes your vivid vision requires you to imagine tools and technology that may not even exist today, except in the imaginations of some very creative thinkers. So think about that. Like when you're creating your vision for what you want, don't get hung up on the tools. Don't get hung up on the how, because those things come later. Those things come when you put the architects in place. You be the visionary, right? You be the Microsoft. You be the JFK. You be the person who, you know, the thought of the light bulb, right? Those things didn't exist before someone had the big, hairy, audacious goal. Hi, Julie, to actually think about that, right? It requires you to think about something before it can actually be manifested into reality. So that's where trying to put all the practical pieces in place interrupts your goal. And that's why so many people get stuck and never actually pursue. They never see what is possible. So right now, as my clients are having their massage and having their one-on-one -on -one yoga session that I surprised them with, so excited, um, they, they're gonna come back, relax. They've already done some work on their vivid vision. And then we get to start working that out on paper. And the whole creative process is just so exciting. And if you're not doing something in the, like this in your life, I really encourage you to do it. You know, when we're children, Julie, I know you have children, and those of you watching the replay, so many of you I know have children. When we have children, we encourage them to be creative. We encourage them to dream big. But somewhere along the line, as adults, we stop doing that and we get practical, right? We have to focus on reality. And, you know, one of the things that one of my biggest mentors, Esther Hicks, talks about is reality is only reality because you're focused on it. You focused it into being. You can create another reality based on what you focus on. So I just want to leave that with you today and show you again this picture of Vivid Vision by Cameron Harold. It's so small. Look at it. And it's he writes this specifically for people who have a career goal or a business goal. Um, but you can apply this to your life. You can apply this to your relationship, to your family goals, to your health goals. It's just a beautiful, beautiful process. And I've time and time again created change and transformation after transformation in my life because of this visualization piece. And I will continue to do that. And I look forward to seeing in three years this academy that is just birthed inside of me, a little light bulb idea that I get to now take through the creative process. I look forward to seeing what that manifests as in three years. So share in the comments if you have a vision for yourself, if you've read this book, um, if you're excited to read this book, and really what you're excited about in your life and for the future. I'd love to hear from you. If you want some support around outlining your vivid vision, just send me a message, a, a, a PM, and I will get back to you. I want to, before I log off, just see if you can see some of the beautiful um, countryside here. The sun is a little bit blocking it, but I'm tucked away in a corner over here. Uh, you can see the trampoline. <laughs> but anyway, that's a little bit of the beautiful... Um, countryside here where we are staying this summer. Thank you guys for watching. I've got to color up my gray hairs. Man, we're all getting older, aren't we? That's why it's even more important to pursue 
your dreams. Life is now. What will you create? Thanks for watching. Please share this with someone that it might support. And if you caught the replay, please type replay in the comments. Bye.